Okay, I'm gonna leave this off. Kendra, this is for you. Yes. If you could yes. live without one artist, who would it be, Jay-Z or Beyonce? Okay, so here's the deal. I really thought about this. And, and, and my first answer was Jay-Z, but I'm gonna change it because here's the deal. What? There's no Beyonce, no, hold on. There's no Beyonce really without Jay-Z, the music, the yes. babies. So I will sacrifice my own life because without Jay-Z, we don't have Beyonce and they are so mm -hmm. important to the world. So I would keep Jay-Z and kill myself. I'd be really Beyonce. sad. What the hell? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's how much I love Beyonce. We're gonna keep I would commit Beyonce. suicide before I would take her husband away. Get That's how it. much oh I love Beyonce. God. As a faithful <laughs> member of the Beehive, I appreciate that and I respect Thank that. you, yeah. Oh, I respect get it right that. You're in the Beehive yeah. too, yes. That's one of the weirdest yes. answers I've ever heard, Kendra. <laughs> yes, Jordan, Ever. I'm with you, bro. Ever. Yes. Felicia, I got a question for you now. Okay. So would you give up, now Felicia, would you give up your Beyonce and Jay-Z ticket if a relative needed it? Oh, like what kind of help do they need? Oh, come on, girl, answer the question. Says, hell no. <laughs> uh, like, you know, no, like girl. if it's a flat tire, no, I'm going to the Jay-Z Beyonce concert. <laughs> if, you know, they need help at the doctor or something, then okay, I'll give up my ticket. <laughs> no, you shouldn't even in that case, Felicia, because if they're dying, they shouldn't be dying with Jay-Z and Beyonce there, so you still keep your ticket. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Let's go with that. We'll go with that yeah, one. Let's go with that. There we go. Leah, wow. you got me? Yeah, I, I got you, big bro. Hey, listen, have you ever posted something on social media that you regret? Yeah, see, I could have gone a lot of different ways with this. I had an ex-girlfriend who was on my social media, and I regret definitely ever putting her on there because she was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Um, but I would definitely say... Posting a selfie is probably what I regret the most because I feel like guys shouldn't be posting selfies. I'm going to tell it to you straight. I was in the gym one day. I was feeling good. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and pull, I'm gonna go ahead and pull a Kyle. I'm going to go ahead and put a Kyle here and take a uh, selfie. Back. Hey, I'm in the gym. I'm getting my, my body right. But my body wasn't there, there yet, so I shouldn't have posted that, that picture on social media. That's my biggest regret probably. I'd probably say doing a, doing a selfie on social media. Not a good look. Hilarious. All right, Leon, I got one for you. Does it annoy Come you on, when coworkers try to have awkward bathroom conversations? Uh, actually, it doesn't. It doesn't bother me. What annoys me <laughs> is when they try to look over when I say the porcelain is cold. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't that get it. That annoys me. I I don't don't know. Know. Stay, stay over in your lane, bro. I got this over here. We can talk about sports and all that, but, you Oh, my know, gosh. That's a little too it's a little chilly in here, and they, they, they want to, hey, really? No, all right, that's when it gets weird. Well, let me let me flip it on you guys. Uh, any one of you guys uh, really quickly have uh, anything no, you I don't regret flip it on anybody. On I'd media. stay in my... Um, on social media? Yeah. Some, okay, I will say this, because I like to take my bikini pictures. Okay. And oh. sometimes I regret it because the guys tell me that certain guys will screenshot those photos, and they do things that I probably wouldn't want them to do with my image. <laughs> like what? I don't understand. So it has me start thinking twice about when I post my See, sexy Kyle, bikini Leon, why you guys got to go ruin the fun? Yeah. People like it on good, social media. That's a like, good point, though. Kendra, don't listen to them. Keep, keep living your best life. never stop her pictures. That's a good listen, point, Jordan, though. Listen, never stop. That's never stop her from posting what you want yeah, to post. Yeah, don't stop doing what you're doing. But think about it. I haven't did bikini shots in a while because of the information you guys all, gave me. Thanks a lot, Kyle all, Leon. No I appreciate it. You're First welcome. of all, ain't nobody on this show studying Kendra like that. I right. don't care. Right. No, you tell me what guys do. You say when guys, when I post those pictures, guys take them and they do stuff in the bathroom. Yeah, they do. <laughs> And then that made me think twice. Yeah. All right, we probably need to move on. Let me go ahead and get in this conversation never, really quick. We're never going to be back. Oh, man. Felicia, I have a it's question over. for you. Felicia, okay, I have ready. a question for you. Uh, have you ever not tipped a server at a restaurant? <gasps> have you ever not tipped oh. a server? No, uh -oh. no. I used to be a server, so I wouldn't. I'm lying. I'm lying. Oh, okay. you got it. I'm lying. No, it was an accident though, and it, I was at um, I was at uh, it was a Mexican restaurant in Pilsen. It's on 31st Street. Um, they Pancho, come out to you. Pancho Pancho exact Pistola. restaurant. Pancho Pistolas. I forgot. I under tipped. I think I left her like 10 percent instead of 20, and I feel bad about it to this day. That's why I remember it. Like I have to go back. Oh man. What but I used to be a be server in a restaurant. Oh. Like you should always tip 20 percent. What do you got for Kyle? Not always, oh, because no. sometimes they yeah. don't deserve it. Yeah. Sometimes. Okay, you should always tip at least 15 percent. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Right. You can go you with feel. that one. All right, Kyle. Listen up. Has yes. the cashier ever given you more money than they were supposed to receive, and you took it? I feel like God works in mysterious ways. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I felt like in that moment that was my good karma coming back to me. You understand what oh, I'm saying? Oh my goodness. And that, that, 
And at the end of the night, when they did their register and they were yeah. short, that was their bad karma coming back on them. Yeah. And so who am I to question what God's plan is? You understand so what I'm saying? You yes, I got that money. You took it no, and I didn't then take you it. Tied it. It was given or to you, me. Oh, you gave it to a, a, a person in need or you put it somewhere well. He was right? the person I, in need. I needed it and I kept it. <laughs> now, this is what I'm trying to tell you. I think also a valuable okay, lesson I tried to was help taught the brother that out. too. <laughs> I, I also think a valuable lesson was learned there, too, by that yeah. person. Stay in school. Learn how to count. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, everybody gets a lesson here. Everybody's, it works out good for everybody.